thanks God. He chose not to make physics so complicated. Hello students, in today's video, we will talk about one theoretical aspect of gravitational mass and inertial mass. Most of these students do not understand the difference between gravitational mass and inertial mass. Please watch this video for next 5 to 10 minutes and you will have a fairly good idea of the difference between gravitational mass and inertial mass. Now, if you apply any force on a body, any force, does not matter what is the nature of the force. It could be an electromagnetic force, it could be a gravitational force as well. So, you apply any kind of force on a body and observe the acceleration of the body. There is an unbalanced force. Okay? You observe the acceleration of the body and depending on the value of acceleration that you get, you ascribe a property to this body which is known as its, its inertial mass. Inertial mass is measure of inertia. Yes. In simple language, you can say resistance to acceleration. I will just tell you a simple way of figuring out inertial mass of a body. Suppose this is a standard unit mass. Let us say this is 1 kg standard mass, right? Abhi se kuch samay, kuch saalon pehle tak, किलोग्राम को ऐसे ही डिफाइन किया गया था एक प्रोटोटाइप एक स्पेसिमेन है जिसको हम 1 केजी बोलते हैं ओके okay, वो प्लैटिनम इरिडियम का सिलेंडर मेरे पास है एंड इट्स मास इज 1 केजी लेट अस से इट इज यूनिट मास यूनिट आप कुछ भी बोल लीजिए नाउ यू यू अप्लाई एन अनबैलेंस फोर्स एफ ऑन इट एंड मेजर इट्स एक्सेलरेशन टू बी लेट अस से 2 मीटर पर सेकंड स्क्वायर नाउ यू हैव अ रैंडम ऑब्जेक्ट you apply same force on this object, you apply same force on this object and you find that acceleration of this object is 1 meter per second square. So, because on applying same force, we are finding that this object is having half the acceleration of the earlier one. We say that inertial mass or inertia of this object is double the inertia of this object inertia of this body is double the inertia of this body. So, inertial mass of this body which is measure of inertia, inertial mass of this body is double the mass of this body. So, we by performing this experiment I will say that mass of this body is 2 kg, inertial mass of this body is 2 kg. So, I have compared the inertia of two objects. I have taken one of them to be a standard mass of 1 kilogram. I have measured the acceleration of that object by applying a some known force f and then I apply the same force f on this random object and I find that acceleration is exactly half of that, half of the previous one. I will say that this object has double the inertia as compared to this object. So, its mass is 2 kilogram if the mass of this particular object were 1 kilogram. Similarly, if you apply the same force on some other object though the object might be looking big, <laughs> but if you apply the same force and you find that its acceleration is 4 meter per second square, it will simply mean that this object has, is having inertia half of that because same force produces double the acceleration. So, resistance to acceleration, resistance to accelerate is less here. We say that its mass is half kg. So, this is how we understand inertial mass and this is how we should measure the inertial mass of a body. But gravitational force is pretty different thing. Uh, there is a property of matter you all must be knowing charge because of which a piece of matter can exert force on another piece of matter. There is a property of matter known as charge because of which two objects can interact, they can exert force on one another. This force can be attractive as well as repulsive. Similarly, similarly, apart from charge, there is another property of matter. Remember, there is another property of matter because of which 
two pieces of matter exert force on one another this force is always attractive it is known as gravitational force now there is another property of matter because of which two pieces of matter can exert force on one another this force has been named as gravitational force and this another property of matter could have been named as grass yes grass is a property because of which two pieces of matter attract one another fine but somehow people didn't name it as grass or some another odd name it was named as gravitational mass this property because of which the two pieces of matter attract one another this property is not the property of charge it is something else this another property because of which a piece of matter can exert force on another piece of matter and that force is always attractive this property is known as gravitational mass now these are two entirely different concepts what i was saying here and what i am saying now they are pretty different now take it like this suppose uh, suppose this is our earth suppose this is our earth okay now you place some object at some distance r from the center of the earth okay now you call this as standard gravitational mass take it as one unit gravitational mass unit kuch bhi ho sakta hai there is one unit gravitational mass and you find that earth exerts a force f on this mass now you place some random object at some distance r from the earth take a small object particle like object but it is some random object this one is a standard object we are calling it as one unit gravitational mass and it experiences a force f because of gravitational pull of the earth now i have placed some other random object and this time i find that this time i find that the force that this body experiences is 2f suppose i find that the force that this random object is experiencing because of earth is 2f now force on this object due to earth is termed uh, this object which is having unit gravitational mass is equal to f and on this object it is 2f we say that this object has twice the gravitational mass as compared to this object hum yahan pe kehte hain ki iski tulna mein iska jo mass hai gravitational mass wo double hai we say that gravitational mass of this object is 2 yes so how we are measuring gravitational mass is very different in fact entirely different from how we are measuring inertial mass so these two properties of matter could have been entirely different thing they could have uh, they could be having some entirely different value that means gravitational mass of this pen and inertial mass of this pen could have been two different numbers but thanks god he chose not to make physics so complicated and in all of our measurements we find that the gravitational mass is always equal to inertial mass that is just by chance otherwise these two are very different properties the way we study them in physics might be our whole theory of physics is wrong it is a possibility but the way we presently study them in physics these are two very different things but thanks god their values always remain same for a given piece of matter ye gravitational force do object ke beech jo aap likhte ho yahan pe m it is basically gravitational mass but this mass is always found to be same as this inertial mass to ye bhagwan ka chamatkar hi hai ki aisa hota hai right otherwise ye dono different ho sakte the so students i hope ki aapko thoda sa bhanak mil gayi thodi si achhi samajh aa gayi of the difference between gravitational mass and inertial mass हो सके तो ये छोटे बच्चों को भी फॉरवर्ड कर दीजिए जो क्लास टेंथ वगैरह में पढ़ते हैं उनको भी ये वीडियो अच्छा लगेगा तो प्लीज़ डू फॉरवर्ड दिस वीडियो टू ऑल योर जूनियर्स सीनियर्स एंड ऑल योर फ्रेंड्स एज वेल एंड प्लीज़ डू सब्सक्राइब टू दिस चैनल गुड बाय